Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, what I'm going to show you to do is how to um, basically screen mirror your smartphone to the TCL TV. Now of course, um, things are a little bit different on this TV set compared to others. Um, the screen mirror feature will be called by different names, but it can be done. So I'm going to show you um, some of your best solutions in screen mirroring. Alright, so the first thing you want to do guys is go down. You're going to search for an app and that app is known as... Um, Magiconic. So Magiconic here. So go ahead and launch. And as you say, see here, it shows you um, the basic application for your TV. All right. So basically, you can use your um, phone as a remote uh, with this Magiconic. And of course, there are other features built in with the Magiconic as well. So it's basically a connectivity suit. Uh, basically, another tutorial that I show you how to install said remote app to control your TV. So the Magiconic is a companion app of the TCL Home, which is the remote app you're seeing here. So of course, we're going to hit next. Um, you can create free content to TV. And of course, you can see there it's showing you that um, you can cast the TV with this app. So of course, it says cast a free um, TV, um, con sorry, free content to your TV. So we're going to hit next. It says get Magic Connect now. So we're going to OK the install of Magic Connect. And of course, as you can see here, it's showing you the Magic Connect app and it's showing you the TV here, showing you Wi-Fi, showing you IP, all kind of stuff. So of course here you have the option here. Um, there's wireless display. Um, there's Magic Connect and of course Magic Connect here, remote control and there's a free video. All right. So next here gives you the general connection option. So I'm going to connect on the phone now with the Magic Connect app. So as you can see here, the Magiconic app is connected. You can see it in the upper um, left. And of course, the TV has the app as well. So we're going to see. Okay. So the first time I give you a bunch of ads, um, just skip through and um, set up, then go back to the icon again. Once I do, it will show me my photos as seen here. All right, so it shows all of my photos. I'm going to go to um, the camera or the camera roll as seen here. Uh, if you're not finding the photos, you can go back. Do you have options such as pictures, backgrounds, and so on? But all of your pictures are here. So all you gotta do is find the right folder with your pictures or photos. Alright, so in my case, I'm just gonna go to um camera. And of course, once I'm in the camera, what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to select a photo. I'm going to choose the device, so select photo, choose the device. I'm going to choose the device, so make sure you choose the device. Okay, make sure that the the, um, the device is connected as seen here with the upper left, or it will not connect. So we're going to do this again, so we're going to go to um, cast photos, then we're going to go to the photos folder, and as seen here, we're going to select this photo. To cast to the TV and notice it says there cast to TV all right and if you look you can see that the photo is cast to the TV and if we move through we'll get the photo so that's how to screencast basically notice there again so we're here with the photos and they're being cast to the TV so as you can see all the photos are cast to the TV with ease with the built-in app and I can also exit and um, it will be cast so it's quite easy using the app which is the uh, magic connect but we'll make sure that it's connected to the TV or it will not cast but as you can see the cast process is easy once you disconnect the TV will return to normal another way to do the same thing except in reverse from your um, device it's a samsung galaxy device so go to settings once you're in settings as um similar the scene here go to connected devices and of course go to smart view all right so once you're in smart view it will ask you about um, what device to connect to and of course it's start mirroring with smart view start now all right, notice it says on the TV, a device, so we're gonna access. All right, and of course, Smart View. 
Smart View would allow you to connect to your phone. So this one is actually using the Samsung built-in um, Smart Connect. But of course, you can do the reverse as shown earlier with the TCL option. So the TCL option is for any device, as long as you can install um, the TCL apps, both of them shown. But you can also use from a Samsung Galaxy the Smart View option, which is basically the same thing. So I'm going to browse to the gallery and I should be able to do the same thing. All right, so as you can see here, um, I'm just going to browse to the gallery. Notice the on-screen controls, including the option there. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back again. And as you can see, you can see my TV, um, sorry, my phone screen. I'm going to go to the gallery. Here I'm in the gallery. So as you can see, it does a similar thing to the TCL option. But of course, the smart view is more geared to your phone. So it's Samsung versus the reverse which would be the app. So we're going to scroll, you can see there. And of course, I'm controlling all of this by hand. All right, so you have um, two options to screen mirror. And of course, can work on any Android device. And of course, that's how you do it on your um, TCL TV. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave below. As always, Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips. Same until next time. Bye.